man. You want to see a will? I'm quite moon. Perfect. I'm great. How are you? I'm really good, thanks. I hope you had a good day. I did, I did. And I'm so glad you could join us. Obviously, you are, you know, a star right now. And I'm glad you could <laughs> spare some minutes with me <laughs> so that I can interview you and ask you a couple of questions. Are you ready, though, for the questions? Because it might get a little juicy. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I just want to warn you. I mean, I, don't don't put on me though, because I've been I've been getting the questions from you know the team. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm ready. Let's awesome. Go. Let's okay, go. Ready. first of all, let's get it right. Um, obviously, I want to know where you're from. Um, are you originally from here? Are you from Zim? Is it you know a mixture? What's going on there? Like, tell us a bit about yourself. So I was born in Harare. I was born in Harare in Budiriro. And yeah, and then I moved to South Africa in like 2008. And I've stayed in South Africa mm -hmm. for pretty much, you know, the rest of the time. But I'm originally from Zimbabwe. So I'm Zimbabwean, born and bred, and I speak Shona. Mm -hmm. And I just happen to be living in South yeah, Africa. Yeah, everyone, I, I can see the comments. Everyone's literally like, Leroy, speak Shana, speak Shana. Like, every <laughs> comment is all about speaking Shana. Because I think everyone is so blown away oh, yeah. on that and what's happening. You know, I, I'm there. I'm watching episode one. Yeah. I'm like, okay, what's happening here? Let's go. I'm like, okay, who's this new guy? He's just stepping <laughs> up. But okay, he got his bike and everything. It's cool. It's all good. And then, yeah, like that Shana bar, you know, I actually had to pause. And I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> Did I just hear that? Like, I had to go back. And I was like, okay, oh, hold wow. up. Like, we are one of our own on the show. Like, that was really, you know, mind-blowing. And I yeah. think it was great. Um also, you know, from one of the interviews that I did see that you did with someone else, yeah. you say that acting found you. Mm -hmm. Like, you didn't go out and, you know, actively seek for the opportunities. So I just wanted to know, like, how that came about, how the, you know, I don't know who, who contacted you, but how that whole thing came about and, you know, your, what you experienced at that time, like your reaction. So I'm going to try and make this brief. So how it started, or at least mm -hmm. um, my very first mem memory of like ever really having an interest in acting was back in like 2005 or something in Zim when, or like 2004, okay. 2004, five when I mm -hmm. watched my first ever film on a VCR and it was like this really crappy B-movie comedy about a wedding that goes bad. And yeah. <laughs> looking back, it was a really, mm -hmm. it was a really crappy film, but it was the only film I had. Right. So we watched it a lot of times and I loved it. And I remember being interested in just how this whole thing was made, you know, how they made it so that people were on TV, you know, and how they made us believe this whole story that they were telling us. Right. But back in those days, I think for me, it was it was incredibly difficult to, to believe in myself, you know, to ever do something like acting. Mm -hmm. I think just because of the environment I was in and what I was exposed to. So I'm grateful to God that, you know, when I trans transitioned from Zim to South Africa, I got exposed to a lot of different things. And especially when I moved high schools and I went to this one school in, in high school called O'Connor House and I started doing drama there. And that was like the first time I'd ever been introduced to drama and acting. And I did a school play. I was, so I was actually given a, a lead role in a school play that I did an audition for, right? And that's, that's really just God because <laughs> it just, it's like everything's just coming yeah. to you man like you are not even looking for this they really, just give, the world is literally giving you these opportunities it's crazy like god literally just placed like god had planned my whole journey right and he was literally just opening doors as as time went by so i did that school play and i was the lead in that school play and while i was performing i i I realized like I really have a passion for this and I really want to do acting and pursue acting. And at that moment, you know, there, there was nothing that was limiting my imagination and I believed in myself so much that I can actually do this, right? And I decided that I wanted to pursue an acting career, right? But coming out of high school, I couldn't really pursue an acting career. You know how it is, you know, having black traditional parents from Zim, you know, you gotta do something like engineering. Yeah, you gotta that's, do, that's a job. You gotta be a doctor, you gotta be that's a lawyer. That's a job. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. So I couldn't really pursue acting. True. So instead I decided to pursue IT, right? And, but what I did do though, is I signed up for a modeling agency in the hope that somehow I would get into acting. 
right and <laughs> yeah yes sir and, oh right and, interesting yeah, yeah and funny enough i actually got my first ever acting audition which was for blood and water through my modeling agent right and that just goes to show how it was literally just god's plan oh, from the wow. beginning because i didn't really you know do anything myself i didn't really con concretely like pursue mm -hmm. this um in as much as i had hope to want to be an actor and i believed in myself that i could um, I think God just really put it together for me. And so, yeah, I guess that's why I say that acting found me because I didn't really, you know, physically go looking for it. Exactly. Wow, that's amazing, man. The comment section is going crazy. What do they say? First of all, Hans, it's how in the show now. <laughs> and second of all, girls are just going wild. Oh, I don't know if you, <laughs> like, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Are you single? <laughs> Whoa, ladies, cold. Okay, <laughs> that makes this whole thing very interesting. Okay, That's people are going to start shooting their shots. I'm telling you, your DMs are literally <laughs> going to be so full. But yeah, Hansi, Hansi is trying to show us. So let me, let me just try and, you know, find a question that we can actually um, have something to say on Shona. So, wow, okay, I'm going to try on this. Wait, wait, how did you... Yeah. Sorry? I said I'm going to try my best. Like, my Shona is not the greatest, but I, I do speak Shona, yeah. I'm okay. Don't worry, mine isn't either. So let's let's do this. Let's go. Um, <laughs> so when you know, when you found out, Kuti, you're playing the love interest, like yeah. Akila's love interest. Mm. What can I say? Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how to respond. Like in Shona, like completely. Shame, man! You guys are putting him on the spot. Yeah, putting him on the spot. I do speak Shona. You guys just have to believe that. Um, <laughs> but, um, geez, I honest, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm honestly like, I'm honestly stuck in thinking of an accurate Shona word for the English word that I'm, or, or the English explanation that I'm trying to say. Shame, um, man. No, just go for it. Go for but, it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dangandiri, uh, no, I'm struggling. I am really struggling. <laughs> I'm really struggling. I'm sorry, okay, Listen, man. Guys, I, really, I speak Shona. You guys just have to believe that. But yeah, I speak Shona. But to answer mm -hmm. it in English, um, I was I was quite taken aback, and um, and you know I, I I knew that this was like quite a big role, considering the fact that you know um, Korsi and Gemma, who plays Fikila Bele, her character is a lead, right? So I knew that exactly. Yeah, I knew that it was quite a big role, and. And so I was quite taken aback and, you know, I was really excited about that, you know, that I was getting my first debut on TV on a Netflix film playing a supporting lead role, right? Hey, yeah, it's, it's, that is huge. I mean, yeah, and I don't take it lightly because I imagine a lot of people dream of actually wanting to start, not starting their career, they dream of getting here at some stage. And for me to be starting my career here, sure. that is immense. And that's, yeah, that's something that I'm absolutely grateful for. Um, that is very true. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I feel like we we have to applaud you for that. Obviously, not not many people make it to the big screens just like that. You know, it was so it was like a big bang, like such a jump. And I think, yeah, super proud of you. You're doing an amazing job. Um, Thank you. My next question, really, is that you know when you got when you got onto the scene and mm. stuff like on set. Obviously, you're joining in in season two, whereas mm. people already kind of know each other and. You're literally the new guy yeah. in every aspect yeah, of it. You're definitely. the new guy on the show. You're the new guy on set. Like, how did that feel? And, you know, how, how did the whole experience feel? What, how did you adapt to that, actually? So I think in the beginning it, it was, um, I, 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 felt like, I, I felt like, you know, I had imposter syndrome. Because, firstly, I wasn't just, like, mm -hmm. the new guy in terms of, like, coming onto a different set. But I, I was not, like, an actor you know, I beforehand, oh, you know, yes. so I didn't even know how things, you know, what were the logistics of how things went. So I was literally just figuring everything out as, as you know, things went by. And I was trying my best to, to make it so that nobody else could see that this is my first time ever, mm -hmm. you know, in, 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 in the space, <laughs> right? So I, was, the pressure. Yeah, so I was trying my best to do that. But I think what really helped is the fact that the cast themselves, they, like the whole cast, they're just very welcoming. You know, and there are a lot of people that just kind of welcomed me in and just helped me to feel comfortable and to feel like I could just be myself. And over time, I think I, 
over time I felt like I belonged and I felt like this is exactly where I wanted mm -hmm. to be, you know, and we stayed together as the cast for like two months. Right. And that was, oh, wow. yeah. So, so we would, we would literally like make dinner together, right. We would make dinner together. We would hang oh, out wow. every okay. night. Right. So we, there was a lot of room for me to actually get comfortable with the, with the cast and for me to actually, you know, slowly integrate myself into this new family and every, <laughs> Yeah, the comments are going crazy. And everyone actually... <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So I'm saying you're hot like a hito. <laughs> you are hot like a hito. Oh, okay, <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah no, people, people are going crazy. They absolutely love you. Mm -hmm. But to answer your question, yeah. So, it, you know, the cast really helped me to kind of integrate myself into the family that was already there. And it did take some time, you know, because I was kind of like, you know, I was, I was in shock at first. You know, like when I first walked into a room where, you know, there were all these actors that I watched on TV and now I'm like there and I'm also considered an actor amongst them. Oh, yeah, you know, exactly. That, for anyone, that would be like, you know, that would be a lot to just kind of take in. So, it's yeah, crazy. I had to take my time mm -hmm. to just kind of take it in. But over time, I just, I really felt like this is exactly where I'm supposed to be and nowhere else at this present moment. And I'm grateful to God for everyone that helped me to feel that way and that I did get comfortable eventually. Nice, man. A God-fearing man. I don't know how you're going to handle all these women on the side. Like, <laughs> honestly, good luck. <laughs> all I want to say is good luck. Um, someone's asking how old you are. How old am I? Wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm 21. I am 21 years old. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. No, that's great. You still have, you know, a lot to do in the industry. And yes. What are your sort of actually before I move on to the plans for the future? Okay. I want to know: was it hard? Was it hard to like get into your role as Sam, or like is Sam sort of part of who you are? Like, do you identify with Sam, or it's a totally different person? Because you know, Sam is like the flirty guy, the charmer, yeah. the you know, he just steps up, he rocks up with his bike and everything, and he's surfing, and everyone's like, "Oh, who would that nigga?" <laughs> so <laughs> we want to know, like. Was it hard to actually act as Sam? Did you have to, what did you have to do? Like, did you, did you know how to, you know, ride a motorcycle before and, you know, all those things like surfing? You're, so you're asking very incriminating questions, eh? But <laughs> I'll answer what I can. Am I? Oh, geez. <laughs> I'll answer what I can. <laughs> okay, answer what you can. We, we don't want you to get fired because we obviously, <laughs> you know, want season three. So answer what you can and please do not answer what you don't. Well, what you can't really okay sweet so um i sam is you know the sam's personality is really um is really my personality in real life and that's that's the honest truth i think what really got me the audition oh my gosh. yeah so what really got me the audition was not my performance <laughs> It was it was not my acting. It's sad to say, although my acting wasn't bad, obviously, because otherwise I wouldn't be on TV. But what what got me the performance, uh, what what got me the audition, sorry, the role, was my personality, mm -hmm. how I walked into uh, the audition room, and how I, how I was conversing with um, you know the director and everyone else, and my energy, and that same energy that Sam has. I kind of had that as I walked into the, the audition room. And that was one of the key factors that actually oh, got me the role, um, honestly speaking. So mm -hmm. in that sense, myself and Sam are very much like similar in that sense. But, you know, there are obviously experiences that Sam goes through that I've never been, I've never been through. I've never found out that my mom, you know, was doing something shady, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've, I've exactly. never, yeah. So I had to tap into, you know, things that I hadn't experienced. I had to tap into emotions I didn't even know I had you know um yeah and that was interesting and that was what made the acting fun you know the fact that i had to discover so much that i hadn't discovered within myself before right and things like surfing and riding a bike like i did not do that before in the past so it made the whole whole experience a, oh a lot more interesting and really fun for me um yeah but to answer your question that is how myself and sam are similar Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Someone says they're going to pay Lobola for you. <laughs> Just the putting it out there. <laughs> bring the cows, okay? Just bring the cows. <laughs> bring them home. Okay, so obviously you said that you had a lot to learn. And yeah, what's your most like memorable part of, you know, filming season two of Blood and Water? 
I think my me most memorable part would be, we spent like a week shooting all the scenes that my character and my character's mother um, are in. So we, we shot those scenes at the house in which they stay at, right? In like Simonstown. So we spent like a week, wow. right, shooting in Simonstown. And I feel like, because for me, there was a lot of room to grow during that space because we literally shot every day. And I was on set every single day from like 5 a.m. to like 8 p.m. And then the next day, 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. or something like that. And so it was, it was a lot. Oh, wow. It was a lot mentally. As much as it was draining, you know, I learned so much during that period. And I'm absolutely grateful that I did. And the fact that I was working with such an amazing actress, you know, an industry legend, Zikona Sotlaka, she really helped me to, to kind of just hone my skills and to, to get comfortable on screen. And she would give me advice. You know, she would tell, like, she would literally tell me sometimes, like, you are lying. Like, you are lying to me right now. Let's do that again. Like, that's how crazy it was. <laughs> and, oh, wow. Yeah, that's how crazy it was. And, <laughs> and so that was really fun. That was interesting. Yeah, and as an actor, like, that's what you want, to be able to grow, right, and to be able to learn so much. Exactly. And so that week, that period where we were shooting so much every single day, I really grew, right, and I'm so grateful that I had, you know, that period to grow and to learn from an actress that I really admire so much. Indeed. Wow. You know, like, obviously, when I watched you, I, I didn't think that this was, you know, the, the newbie vibes, or you were just coming on set as, as a new guy, oh, as yeah? a new actor. I'm like, where is this guy coming from? I need to know. <laughs> oh, wow. And then I found out that, okay, this is like your first, you know, big screen kind yeah. of performance. I'm like, whoa, that's just talent right there. Oh, like, wow. that's, that's crazy. So yeah. You've been doing amazing, man. And what, what do you, you think the future is looking like? Um, besides, we, we are definitely seeing you in season three. <laughs> hey, but yeah, well, besides that. Like, and water. I don't know about that. If you can, can you get my name? Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know you, you guys. That, yeah. Please, can you speak to them for me? Like, we got to get <laughs> me back in <to> season three. <laughs> um but the, <laughs> definitely well, but yeah what's what's the future looking like what do you want to get into what where's your interest you know like yeah tell us a bit about that so um wow without saying too much and without saying too little as well i've when when i when i when i desired to be an actor and um you know i i really when the passion for acting was growing inside me <clears throat> what was fueling that passion mm -hmm. was all the the movies that i was watching right or the full the film and, and, and TV series that I was watching, and you know they were very expansive in in their nature, right? They they had all the genres possible, right? They had so many genres, so many different you know types of stories, you know, and that was what really made me fall in love with acting. You know, the fact that you could do so much that it was yeah. expansive, and that you could act, you know, in a film today. And the next time you go, it will be something completely different. And you would have to look for something you hadn't looked for in the past. And that, for me, was what really, <clears throat> you know, stroke that passion for acting within me, right? And so I was watching a lot of Hollywood movies, right? That's what I was watching. I was watching Hollywood movies. Okay. movies where we all are, to be honest. We're all watching Hollywood movies, right? And <laughs> we of think course, they're amazing yeah. because they can do so much, right? And they have the freedom and the ability to do so much with their ideas. So I want to do projects that allow me, that don't limit me, you know, in terms of what I can do, right? In terms of, you know, my performance, right? In terms of the different types of characters I can portray, right? So that's, that's what I can say. That's, that's all that I can say. And I'm praying and hoping to God that, you know, that is what's on the horizon for me, you know, and that is what's next. But I know that, you know, God's definitely got a lot more in store. It's going to happen, man. It's going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. We're going to see you there on the red carpet, yes. wherever yeah. it is. Let's go. But you are going to be there. You're <laughs> always going to be there. We actually made it easier for you, or someone in the comment section made it easier for you. Someone just said, can you just say in Mwayamundi? Like, that's all you got to say. <laughs> you don't have to say anything else. <laughs> There's no other shot that you have to say, just for the fans, you know. Yo. Actually, maybe say the whole line, like the, from the beginning. And then, uh, okay, cool. There you go. You can definitely say that. <laughs> I was saying this. Yo, guys, just, just please don't use this language at home. This is like, <laughs> please. Um, yes, please. But, 
Um, and you want to see a will in Yeah, there was, we go. That was the line. There we the go. Show, okay, that was the line from the show. You did. <laughs> there you go, guys. There you go. The line, the famous line itself, yeah. you know, like yo, bro. I was shocked. I was actually like, whoa. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I still got. It moved everyone. I think it moved everyone. And obviously, the whole of Zim was like, whoa, okay, that's our boy. Yeah. Like, let's do this. Let's go. So, yeah. Honestly, like... No, man. Thank you for that. Lastly... Uh-huh. Sorry, you want to say something? I was going to say, honestly, when, when the director approached me and she was like, um, what do you think of adding some Shona into the script? I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, let's do it. That's that's amazing. That's a great idea. Let's you do know, it. Let's I, go. I definitely, because I definitely yeah. want... I want to still represent my country and where I come from. And I mean, to, to be able to speak Shona, that is like represent, representation on a different level, right? Because the mere fact that, I'm, that, that I'm acting is representation, but to speak the language for, of where I come exactly. from, you know, that's something that I, man, I'm so grateful that I was able to do that, right? And yeah. And I, on Netflix, yeah. on such a huge platform and such a huge show, that is crazy. Like not many people get to do that at all. So yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really grateful that, you know, that we were represented as Zimbabweans. And the fact that I spoke Shona, right, for a lot of Zimbabweans, they, they, they could resonate with that, you know, and seeing a Zimbabwean on, you know, a Netflix show, you know, it gives a lot of people hope, you know, that they can do, mm-hmm. they can do something with their life. They can do, you know, even much greater than, than what God is doing in my life, you know. And so that's what, one thing that I'm mm-hmm. really grateful for, because I know personally for me, you know, and with coming from Zimbabwe and everything, it was very difficult for me to, to believe in myself you know, to even be able to do something like this, right? But now yeah. that I'm here, I'm so grateful that a lot of young people that, <clears throat> that, are, that will come after me will be able to believe in themselves and, you know, will really just believe that the, well, what they can achieve that is endless, you know, that there's nothing limiting them. And I'm grateful to God that he's using me in that sense. It's amazing. Very inspirational. And I actually want to ask, like, obviously, you know what it is, like you said, Zim parents um, coming from Zim, like, yeah. How did they react when you say you're going for blood and water auditions and you want to be an actor in general? Like, what was what was the comments that were coming yeah. about? You know, from the fam, from friends, everything like that. So I think from from my, my father, the, the first time I told him like I'm gonna go and do modeling, like his reaction was like modeling, huh? It's like that's not for men. What do you what do you mean modeling? You know what I mean? <laughs> and, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that was that was his reaction when I told him I'm gonna do modeling. But I think over time, as I began mm-hmm. to do um, commercials and stuff, because I did a couple commercials, you know, and he he saw my face on on his phone, you know, on commercial videos and stuff, you know, he oh, <laughs> yeah, he started mm-hmm. to believe in it uh, a, 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 little, a little bit more. And I think when the whole blood and water thing happened, like he didn't like fully understand what it was or how to even like you know deal with it. You know, and I think it's so slowly taking him time, especially with, with the reception, because literally everyone that he meets would tell him like, oh, your son's on TV, you know? And so, <laughs> so he, so he's, he's I yeah, can imagine, so slowly, yeah. Slowly but surely he's beginning to see like, you know, that this is, this is actually something that, you know, can take me really far in life. And I'm grateful to God sure. that, that he is, because I, I can imagine for any, any parent who, who does not know of acting as a proper career, it would be difficult for them to to let their child just go and pursue an exactly. acting career, you know? So I'm grateful to God that even though it's taken time, that it's slowly happening. Okay, no, I get you. I definitely get you. Um, I'm just reading the comments here. Someone says, your voice sounds like you can sing. So can no. you sing, right? Yo. <laughs> no, I can't sing. Are you sure? No, are you I, sure? No, because we, we are getting the vocals. We are getting the this that maybe something can come out of there, you know? So we're just wondering if you can sing. No, I can't sing. No, I can't sing. <laughs> I'm sing sorry, at guys. all. I'm sorry, I can't sing. <laughs> okay, all right. No worries. Um, guys, please do not use that in Waya Moon Reliant. I see a lot of people, <laughs> I'm guessing, uh, obviously some of your followers are South African. They don't know what it means. Yes. It basically means like, like you're a dog, like you're cursing someone but like in a in a deeper way i feel like shana is a bit explicit yeah so it's, it's very it's, it's way worse than that mm. <laughs> it is it's very deep but yeah anyway so we're gonna move on to the juicy part the okay. kiss though like 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like how you just looked around. I really like how you just looked around. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna get deep into the kiss, but yeah, you know, I just had to put it out there. I just yeah. wanted to see a reaction, and I got it. So it's fine. It's all good. Like we we ain't even asking questions about the kiss. Uh, like okay. we're done with that. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Literally and. <laughs> Yeah, we are not going to ignore the fact that, you know, Jab Preza did also play in season two. Wow, that, that was, was really, really cool as well. That was amazing, honestly. Proper representation. Exactly. And who is your favorite artist, just out of curiosity? Uh, like a Zim artist. From Zim. Um, mm-hmm. oh, man. What's his name? He's a rapper. Can you, can you help me? He's a rapper. He's young. He's got a deep voice. Oh my gosh, now you put me on the spot. Can you help me? What? <laughs> he's Zim songs, right? Okay. He's a Let's... rapper. He's, okay. He's, he's got a deep mm-hmm. voice. And yeah, he's pretty young as well. Um, Holy 10. Holy 10, let's go. Holy 10. Yeah. Let's go. Holy 10. There That's we go. Song. Yeah. I got you. I had you a deep voice. Like, yeah, <laughs> literally. I was going to. I was debating between Takura and Holy 10, but I got it. Let me see if we have any further questions here. But. Yeah, man, I think, I think we are basically almost done. Um, let's see what's happening. Someone said, when's your birthday? I think they nah, want to kiss nah, you or something. Nah, I don't no, know what's happening. That's, nah, come on, guys. That is too much. Yeah, that's wild. That's hectic. <laughs> um, how did you manage to get the audition? Okay, you already answered that. Mm-hmm. What else does he do besides modeling, maybe studying? I did read somewhere that you did an IT. You studied IT in uni, right? What was that about? Like, which... Which sort of was it just information technology or like it was deeper? So I was doing was I was doing software development because I was interested in becoming oh, okay. a software developer. And yeah, so mm-hmm. I studied software development for a good year and a half. And when the mm-hmm. whole blood and water thing happened, you know, I decided that listen, this is the time for me right now to go after, you know, what I actually want to do in life, you know. I'm still very young. Like I've got so much time. God forbid it doesn't work out. You do. You can always come back and and try again. If it doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world, right? But at least you tried. So, so yeah, I was doing software development until I decided to pursue acting um, completely fluent. Yeah. So I'll say he's not just a pretty face. (laughs) Uh-huh. Yeah, at, what? You read it. <laughs> okay. Someone, yeah, someone asked, <laughs> someone asked did, did you study theater um, arts? No, I did not. I did not study theater. What I did do is I did, I took drama in high school. Um, I guess that counts as something, right? So I took drama in high school. That's the most education I have in the industry. Yeah. It's just pure talent. Tell oh. them that you, you were just born for this. Oh, come on. Like, it just oozes out of you, and they're like, okay, you go there, oh, start on. acting, <laughs> one, two, three, action, and it's done. Like, period. You don't even need a script, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hyping you up. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, no, man, I think that is basically it for me. I don't know if you have anything to say to the fans. Yeah. Um, yeah anything else to add on otherwise i think we're basically done at least we got to you know chit chat get to know you a bit before you get real busy because you're about to do crazy things man Uh, so yeah um any last words oof i would say Mm -hmm. i would say what i say to the people that follow me like all the time you know like just if if you discover what it is that you really want to do in this life like go after it you know like don't let nobody tell you anything else go after it pursue it and if it doesn't work out it's not the end of the world at least you tried right but literally anything is is possible nothing is impossible um yeah and i hope that people can find a little inspiration from what god has been able to do in my life yeah thank you thank you so much for that yeah no that is very important i feel like especially as young people we just need to do exactly what we want to do and then figure it out from there like you said whether it works out or it doesn't it doesn't really matter like you still have time to figure things out so it's okay it's not the end of the world it's literally okay absolutely so yeah no we are definitely happy for you definitely grateful that you are here right now talking to me and I got to ask you all the juicy questions, <laughs> like I said. But yeah, thank you so much for joining. Before we leave, actually, I've seen that you always do like this, this thing. So we're going to do that for the fans and then we'll be out. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. Cheers, guys. Thank you guys like, for coming. Like, we can do a one, two, three, go. Okay. But I, I don't have a nice smile, so I'm not gonna smile you like do. you. No, you, have, you I'm have not a model. So. Smile. And your teeth, your teeth, like so oh white. And, like, and they're all in symmetry. It's, it's an amazing. Don't smile. be Come lying on. to I'm, me. I'm serious. <laughs> Yo, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh my gosh! Thank you. But yeah, let's do it. One, two, three, go. Oh, you're not smiling. Come on. Awesome. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> I did, I did, I did at the end. Thank you so much, Leroy. It was absolutely a pleasure hosting you. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone enjoyed this. And yeah, I'm gonna, you know, save the life for anyone else who wants to witness the greatness. Oh, thank you very <laughs> but much. Yeah, man, I will catch you. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful that, you know, you would want to speak to me. <laughs> and thank you for, the, for your time and for being such a great <laughs> hostess. Thank you. Oh, anytime, anytime. Let us know when next we're doing this. We, we are always here. So, yeah, <laughs> it's all Absolutely. good. Absolutely. All right, cool. Cheers. We will chat. Okay, bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Okay, you guys, we are at.